Hey you guys, so today is induction day. It is January 24th. This is our room. We're waiting um, just for the doctor to come in, check me, see how far along I am, and talk about um, the game plan as far as like Pitocin or like that ball or whatever to get things going. So guys, uh, this is uh, day one of labor. Um, <laughs> We're not knowing how long this is going to be, you know. The last time it was about three day labor, so hopefully we get this done at least within one day. The doctor just left. I am one centimeter dilated, and so we discussed um, what we're going to do. Since I do have long labors usually, we agreed that probably if we do one of those pills, the pill that like softens your cervix, I think, um, you have to do that pill like every four hours, and then four hours um, start the Foley ball. Are we going to go ahead and start just doing my makeup because we're just like waiting, doing nothing, and then the TV the TV we were gonna try and connect our like Amazon fire stick or like our Apple box one of those and um, I don't even want to ask if we could do it or not because I just want to do it so we can like watch Netflix right now oh so, yeah so it is almost 2:40, and the pill that you take um, to help soften your cervix been like I think two hours two or three hours almost and surprisingly I've been having um, a lot of uh, contractions that are like pretty regular like every I think they're like every two minutes right now they're making me having to stop for a minute and just kind of wait it out so yeah I will check back in probably after the doctor comes in and checks to see how I'm doing she's <laughs> I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. We were reading this on Facebook. It was so funny. Okay. You read it. Okay. UPS, your package is in your city on a truck by Mike. Oh, hold on. Your package is in. <laughs> I can't even read it right. Why did you help me read it? Your package is in your city on a truck driven by Mike. It will arrive on your doorstep at 627 p.m. I can't even read. I can't even read. FedEx, your package is coming. You'll get it when we get there. UPS, your package. What package? UPS, PS, your what package? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Amazon, we are already inside your apartment. Check the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Facebook, we know you were thinking about getting a toaster yesterday. Here are 20 ads for toaster ovens. <laughs> well, that was the good laugh that we needed. Getting ready to have this baby here in a couple minutes. We just did the Foley ball. That was really painful. We started the Pitocin. I was still dilated at a 1. Uh, my contractions are getting intense they're getting like strong that volleyball is just really uncomfortable like i would plan on walking and stuff i don't know if i even want to walk it's like really uncomfortable so yeah i'll update guys in a little bit Seven oh two. she's feeling them right now they gave her the Pitocin and they upped it up 
and she's really feeling them now. There's that ball inside of her too. So we went walking. Volleyball, it was like a tube that's sticking out and they tape it to your leg. It got like blood in it and um, I got up again and there was like blood trailing on the floor. I like freaked out we called her. She just said that it's normal but it just freaked me out because this looks bad. There's just blood everywhere. And then, um, so I started kind of getting anxiety about that. They gave me medicine through an IV. I've been trying to hold off on not getting that because of like my anxiety. Like I just don't want to take the medication. But it like got my anxiety got worse. I just totally freaked out. Like my eyes still feel like I'm just spinning. I do not like this feeling. Then she pushed the saran. A few seconds later, it just felt like the whole room just was spinning. And my eyes were like going left and right, left and right. So I felt like. I was trying not to have a panic attack when she was in here when they gave me the medicine. So I hope this feeling goes away. I took out that ball, so she came in to come check it, and she like so I was in pain, I was freaking bleeding. She like was supposed to tug on it, and then she just, she just yanked it out. I feel like I feel like it wasn't working or something. I'm so exhausted. I can't even think right now. I'm trying to vlog. Falling asleep. We have to put toast in. So until next time so it is now midnight and so the nurse finally checked me and i'm barely a three and a half so we still have like a long way to go each pregnancy like gets harder and harder it feels like it's supposed to get easier So we just got the epidural and it's, um, it's getting pretty real right now. She got some anxiety, but she'll be all right. Just getting through it right now. Hey you guys, so, oh my gosh, I'm beat. Not sure what the last footage you guys saw. I'm sure it was danger showing you guys me after with the epidural. Basically, like, my pain was tolerable. The nurse was just saying, like, you know, everybody's in line for the epidural. If you want to get the epidural, basically, now it's time to get it. So she checked me, and I was, like, at a three. And so I was, like, seriously. Normally, when I get the epidural, it'll kind of help me relax. Because my body was just not dialing at all. It went 17 hours, and my body was still at a three and a half. So the guy came in for the epidural. He was just a douche. He was such an ass. Um, I had, like, told the nurse my concerns about said like really bad anxiety and like about getting an epidural and I've had it three other times so I had me like bend over and then he pushed on my spine and like it just hurt like I, I couldn't he wasn't able to do it and then he was just like in a rush he was like well I have to go I have to be somewhere I have to be somewhere so I need to do this now he was just being a douche and so um and I was like shaking like I was having panic attacks like while they were doing it and like just hyperventilating and like my whole body was shaking like it was awful and then, sorry. <laughs> and then he was just like, I have to be somewhere. I'm gonna have to call my colleague. So this, uh, this other guy, this older guy came in. He was just a lot, um, he was just more gentle. He was just so much better than that first guy. Like, I felt like none of them were getting it. Like, why I was freaking out, you know? And so the whole time they were just like, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna feel better. Your pain's gonna go away. And my contractions are tolerable. Like, I can tolerate them, but just my anxiety is like, going crazy. I saw after that, but I just like lost it. It's like five o'clock, we went to bed. I just got exhausted from the anxiety, and like I started to kind of doze off, and she just kept coming in. And she said, like, the baby was dipping, and I and she needed to adjust me and stuff. And so that just gave me like more anxiety all over again. Every, every time I woke up, I'd like wake up in a panic. Just worrying about the baby, like, this is too long. Like, it's gonna be almost 24 hours that we've been since we walked through the door. So I just feel like that's a lot of pressure on the baby. I cannot believe it's taking this long, and it's my fourth baby. Like, this is not normal. So, 
We checked it was at 6 in the morning. It was only 4. So we had two doctors. We don't know if they're interns or whatnot, but um, they came in here. They said that um, they wanted her to be on the oxygen because the baby is steady, I believe. So that either means the baby's under stress or the baby is sleepy. We let the nurse know when she came in that we didn't want the interns. We wanted the real doctor. That <laughs> Update. Broke her water. Doctor just came in and did a measure, and uh, she's at uh, almost a six centimeters now. Uh, almost midnight. Bush time. Sometimes when you push them out so fast, they don't get a chance to get all that liquid squished out of them, so they're kind of helping them work out some of that fluid and stuff. Couple little scratches, got them, yeah. like two little stitches in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to give you a little shot in your leg. The medicine's going to help your uterus yeah. contract a little bit more. Yeah. If your uterus wants to relax, it's going to make you bleed more, so it's going to make your uterus contract better for you. You okay, Mommy? Well, not for color. The tongue is better. He's fully totally fine. They're not hovering over him with stuff on over his head. Give a little shot here. Let me say one or two. Sorry. We made it. The longest delivery ever. Seven pounds, ten ounces. We're happy the baby's healthy, mommy's healthy. Thankful. Okay. Okay, so we are in our room. We just had a baby. We just had like a 37 hour, 34 hours of like active labor. I gotta do the math. So after the baby was born, it felt like just a lot was kind of going on. Some concerns were like his temperature was really low. There was some other stuff going on, but I don't even know. I don't even feel like talking about it right now. 
he's looking just like his brother Dean, Daddy Dean. Baby, baby, hi. Happy birthday today.